What's up, YouTube? I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are back doing some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So, guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking out with this Sableye Butterfree team, which I'm actually very excited to show off. And rocking in that front spot, we have a Rotom Mo, Rock and Protect, Will of Wisp, Bolt Switch, and Leaf Storm with that Citrus Berry to regain a little bit of health. Then we got this Assault Vest Extra Drill to make it eat up some special attack moves with high horsepower, Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Horn Drill. Horn Drill is actually a one-hit KO move, so we can actually get lucky in today's video and pull off some one-hit KOs. Then we got a newcomer to the team. We got Sableye. Woo! Sableye, yeah! Rocking that Roselli Berry with Fake Out, Quash, Encore, and Foul Play. Then we got this T-Tar rocking over here with that Lum Berry. Not rocking Sandstorm as his ability. Unnerved, so Pokemon on the other team cannot eat berries. He's rocking Protect. Rick Break to break through this Reflex and Light Change. Rock Slide and Crunch. Then we got this all-around beast right here. Toad Kiss with that weakness policy. You don't want to set that off. We will run a team with that. Rocket Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, Air Slash to actually get those flinches and follow me in case we want to distract some Pokemon. Then the Pokemon I, I am most excited for is this Focus Sash Butterfree with Compound Eyes. Compound Eyes actually increases the accuracy for that Pokemon. So like moves like Sleep Powder, which we are rocking. Has higher chance of landing. Then we have Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, and Hurricane. The thing that I actually like about this team is we can actually roll this extra drill and T-Tar out separately because it's not like a sand, sand rush sandstorm combo. They're kind of their own separate Pokemon. We can use them in certain situations. But guys, if you would like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I did not make this team, but I will leave a link in the description to the creator. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite legendary Pokemon? As for me, I love Kyogre and Palkia. Those are my two favorite. But without further ado, let's get on with these battles. Hopping into battle number one, this guy is rocking out with a Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme right here. You don't see these guys often. Lapras, Frostmoth, Weavile, Eskew, and a Mamoswine. He's rocking like a, what's it called? A Mono Ice team right here. Ooh wee. Little Mono Ice team action. Okay, so with all that said, Tokus is definitely coming in here. Probably rocking that front spot. Probably rocking that front spot. Tokus is going to pop off here because he has a fire move that can actually hit both. And we can hopefully maybe set off his... Uh, Weakness policy or something, he can do some work, but Tokus is definitely going to be rocking out in this front spot. Then, in the back end, we're going to bring that Butterfree. I think we're going to bring Butterfree in that front spot, also possibly get some sleeps off and all that. So, Butterfree, Tokus is going to rock that front spot, and then we're going to bring in... Who are we going to bring in? Rotom? Let's go Rotom. Rotom could do some work if he brings in that Lapras and that Frost Moth. So, I'm going to bring in Rotom in the back, and then have... Do we have Exegel? I think Exegel would be the better call than that... T-Tar, so let's go with that. We're going to go with Togekiss. Oh, my God. Look at the time. Look at the time, man. We got five seconds. We got this. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Got our whole team out. But, guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, make sure you go and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch if I'm live. Come hang out. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. We stream four plus days every single week. We do shiny hunting and rank battles online. But, guys, check this out. We got ourselves a new chair, and the boys are here. We got Rookie, Score Bunny, and Sobble. The boys are over there, right there. We also got new lights and stuff. But it's not up. We got new lights and soundproof foam, which both those are not up. They will be up very, very soon to stop the echo and give me better lighting. But this guy leads off with a Mr. Rhyme and a, what's it called? A Mr. Rhyme and an SQ. So we're going to go straight into a heat wave here. And we're going to put that, do we put that SQ to sleep? We gonna, let's put that Mr. Rhyme to sleep. Let's put that Mr. Rhyme to sleep. Sleep Powder comes out. We do have speed, which is awesome. We got some slow Pokemon. Sleep Powder comes out here. We're going to rock out into a nice little heat wave here. And do some work. We're going to do some work here. Heat wave pops off. Of course, he dodges the attack. Like, come on, man. Get out of my face. Do some work on that SQ right there. We'll just find it. What is SQ going to do? SQ is going to start a hail. He's going to start a hail here. It's fine. We are special attacking. So he's just going to boost his ice type moves. We might actually just put him to sleep. Or we might actually just start teeing off on him. We might actually just start teeing off on him. I think we're going to go into another heat wave and possibly a... Uh... Did we just go into a max fire here? Hmm. We could just go into a max fire here and take out that SQ and change the weather here. And then just start max air streaming out. Hmm. That could be the play. Let's do it. Let's go right here. Max flare on this SQ. Change that weather back. And we'll go into a nice little hurricane on the... What's it called? On the Mr. Rhyme here. I think that is the smart play. We can change the weather and then we can go and start going into max air streams and start doing some work. I mean, then we can just start doing some work. We also have our sleep powder ready with our Butterfree, which is awesome. So right now we're rocking out perfect. Just like I want. This SQ will go down and 
the what's called the Mr. Rhyme should be like just chilling on the side. I want to boost our speed up here, but I don't think he has anything that is too fast except for that Weavile. That's why I want to boost his speed up like, for that Weavile. But the max or the hurricane does go first. Our Butterfree outspeeds. Let's go, Butterfree. Do some work. It's what we like to see, Butterfree. It's what we like to see. Max Flare comes out here. Bye bye, SQ. Your hail was for nothing, buddy. You got a few buffets off on us, but not enough. Not enough for us. <laughs> We're crushing it. See you later, hail. You realize we are special attackers. Does he realize that we are special attackers and we're going through your ice body? Which is fine. Mr. Rhyme is fast asleep. We're gonna go for another sleep powder after this. And then go for another max air stream. Dude, Butterfree is going to run this match, I think. Butterfree is gonna run this match. He's gonna go out into that Lapras. We're gonna put that thing to sleep. We're gonna say, yo, go to sleep, Lapras. And then we're just gonna rock out into a max air stream on this Mr. Rhyme right here. Start doing some work. And then we're gonna put you to sleep. Everybody, you get to sleep. You get to sleep. Everybody gets to sleep. <laughs> Butterfree's a beast. Butterfree should outspeed. I can see him Dynamaxing that Lapras, which again would be fine by me. But Butterfree should outspeed here. Mwah! Compound Eyes comes in beautifully so we don't miss. Actually, he's going to race here. We're going to put this Lapras to sleep, which is awesome. Max Airstream pops off here. Let's go. Doing some work on that. Mr. Rhyme. Oh, almost taking him out. Hopefully, this Mr. Rhyme is still asleep. But yo, we crushing this fool. We crushing this fool. Speed raises on my Butterfree and my Toad Kiss. Dude, I'm loving it. I'm loving this. Come on, still be asleep, Mr. Rhyme. We'll put you away next turn. He is. Oh my lord, dude. I'm loving this team. I can see him quitting out here. We're gonna go into a another max stream. Boost our speed here and take out the Mr. Rhyme with the hurricane here. Perfect, guys. Yeah, we run perfectly here. What's he gonna do? We're gonna get this hurricane by Mr. Rhyme. <laughs> beast. Butterfree is a beast, dude. Oh my lord. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Max Strat Stream pops off here. We're going to boost our speed plus one each time with that. Do some work on that Lapras. Oh, my lord. Let's go. Boost our speed for our Togus and our Butterfree. We are sitting pretty. We are sitting pretty. Lapras, let's wake up here. Go ahead. Go for a Rain Dance. Ooh. Ooh, no Rain Dance action. Probably going to try to get some Max Geysers off, but we outspeed. I'm going to put you to sleep again. I'm going to put I'm gonna put somebody to sleep. Either your Lapras or the what's it called. Oh, what that do? What did that do? Oh, he starts healing up in the rain. Is that his ability? Oh, no. He's rocking leftovers. Okay. Okay. I was going to say. I was going to say. What's going on? <laughs> Let's go. Weavile does pop out here. That will outspeed. I think that will outspeed. He's going to put the pressure on us. And then we're going to pop out probably into a heat wave here to actually do some work on it. We do, do we go into a heat wave here? We could go into a water move. Dazzling Gleam does do some work, too. I think Dazzling Gleam would be better than heat wave. So, we're going to go into a Dazzling Gleam here. And then we're just going to put this. Uh, do we put the Lapras to sleep? Who are we putting to sleep? Somebody's going to sleep. Let's go Weavile. Because Weavile is fast. We're going to try to put this Weavile to sleep. Come on, Weavile. You're going to sleep, buddy. He's going to Dynamax. Hopefully, Dynamax is that Weavile. Show me Dynamax is that Weavile. Because <laughs> that would be awesome if we could just put that Weavile to sleep. And say night-night. And just have that be game. Let's see it. Because we're out of our Dynamax, but we have some speed advantages here. Hopefully, I'm not sure if we're going to outspeed that Weavile. Come on, show me the Weavile Dynamaxing. Because I would love to put that Dynamax Pokemon to asleep. Let's go, let's go. Show it, show it. Yes, dude. Okay, come on. Can we outspeed? Can we get the speed on him? We want to speed on him. Show me the speed, Butterfree. Show me the speed, buddy. Let's go, Butterfree. <laughs> no way. Butterfree putting everybody to sleep. We love you, Butterfree. Dazzling Gleam pops off. Bang. Do some work. We're going to go for another Dazzling Gleam after this. And then go after that Lapras. Bruh, sleep is so good. Sleep powder is nice. Life Dude's going to pop out here. Again, that's fine by me. He's going to heal up both his Pokemon. And we're going to start teeing off on that Lapras. We're going to go for a Hurricane on that Lapras. Or should we put the Lapras to sleep? Nope. I think we're fine. Lefter's going to pop out here. He's just going to try, try to start tanking this out. He's going to start trying to tank this out here. But we're just wasting the Dynamax turns. Dance and Gleam pops off here. And then we're going to go into a nice little Hurricane. Nice little Hurricane on that Lapras. Maybe potentially get the Confuse. But we do it out to speed, which is awesome. Boom. Do some work. Hopefully it's Dance and Gleam. Can take out the Lapras. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Let's see it. Let's see it. Nope, does not. But put some downs. Weavile still asleep? Weavile woke up. Bruh. No, please. Going to take out my Butterfree here, which is fine. Which is fine. Is he going for another Life Dew here? Is he going for another Life Dew here? Let's see what he does. Please show me no life though. If he does go for a life dude, that is... I think it's game. I think it is game. If he does not go for a life dude. What are you going to do? Life dude does come out here. Smart play. Smart play. 
I was gonna say, because we were just out to be going to a that other that's in the game here. He's gonna heal up. They'll weave out just a little bit more, but we still have two Pokemon rocking in the back end. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. What is the play? That there was come out here. Do we go into a T-Tar and go into a Rock Slide and a what's it called? A Dazzling Gleam? Well, we can go here. No, we do not have. I don't really want to go into my extra. He is a Soul Vested though, which was a smart call. Which was a smart call. Let's go into an extra drill here. The extra drill has decent speed, so we're going to go. Maybe. Do we go into a Rock Slide? We're going to definitely go into a Dazzling Gleam here. We're definitely going into a Dazzling Gleam. We will outspeed here. Molt Breaker comes out here. Say bye bye to your abilities. Okay, so Dazzling Gleam is going to pop off here. We're going to do some work. And then we're just going to rock into a nice little rock slide here. It's super effective to both. Of course we're going to go for a rock slide. Let's put him away. Let's put him away here. Dazzling Gleam pops off. Bang. Come on, take someone out. So close. Come on. Outspeed, buddy. Outspeed, Extra Drill. Max Knuckles is going to come out here. Can we eat this up? That's a real question. Eat it up, Extra. Extra eats it up. And if he lands both these attacks, that will be the game. Show it to me. Show it to me. You're going to boost your attack. Come on, Extra Drill. I need you here, buddy. I need you here, Extra Drill. Extra Drill, bruh. Okay, at least take out the Lapras for me. Thank you, Extra Drill. Weavile did dodge that attack, but that is going to be game. We will outspeed. He's probably going to cancel the battle. But yeah, our Tokus will outspeed it. We played that perfectly. Butterfree is so good. So strong. What a great Pokemon, dude. I'm glad I got to show that off. He did some work. Wait out that Dynamax turns. Actually got to sleep on that Weavile, which was awesome. Actually take out at least one of his Dynamax turns. But that's some game's going to pop out here. And I'm just going to roll into a high horsepower. A little bit of high horsepower action here. Say night night. GG, baby. GG. Do, 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 do. Bye bye, Weavile. GG, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's how you start off with this team. Butterfree Beast. An absolute unit. Let's go, guys. First match, W. Rocking out into battle number two. This guy's rocking Corvo, Flygon, Gardevoir, Silv Valley, Arcanine, Grim Snarl. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can see him leading that Arcanine. I can see him leading that Arcanine. He could be rolling out with a, what's it called? With Wild Break. Or now Wild Charge, which is an electric move. That could do some work on my Butterfree. So we might have to quash that thing. Let's go Sableye. Hmm. Let's go Sableye Butterfree off the bat. I can see him leading that Arcanine. Hopefully not. But we're going to go Sableye Butterfree. He might actually rock out with that Corvenite and try to get that Tailwind off. So we're going to be bringing in our... We're going to be bringing in our T-Tar here. T-Tar is going to come in the back. And then do we go Togekiss? Togekiss is always such a good call, man. Let's go Togekiss. We can always boost that speed up. But we are definitely going to be leading that Sableye Butterfree combo. In case he leads that Arcanine, we can quash that Arcanine. Which, if you guys don't know what quash actually does, quash actually... Whichever Pokemon he's used on, that Pokemon will go last for that turn. So we can quash him so he doesn't outspeed and do some work on my Butterfree. And put him to sleep. So right now we're sitting pretty. I think we're sitting fine. I think we're going to be chilling with this team. But battle number two coming at you guys. Let's get some work done. Let's get some work done on this guy. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I wish we had some more upbeat music. Instead of dun -dun -dun. This is who I thought he was going to lead. Like this, I just knew he was going to lead this. We're chilling. We are chilling. So Quash is going to come out here on that Arcanine. I do, not, I do not want him to go with a fire move. We can put him to sleep and start teeing off. Maybe get a nice little swap going. Maybe get a nice little swap. But our attack's going to fall on a Butterfree. But we're, we're physical there. Frisk sees that we have a Focus Ash and a Roselli Berry. Which is nice. Which is a nice start. But the, do we go for the Fig Out? Let's go for the Fig Out on the Arcanine. And actually just put that thing to sleep. Let's put that thing to sleep. Let's go. Sleeping on that Arcanine. Fake out's gonna come out. Oh, you hunk of junk! Wow! Some nice damage going across the field. And that's all that we are gonna get for this turn. Arcanine flinch couldn't move. Okay, okay. We're gonna quash that Arcanine. I don't see you taking out my Butterfree. I do not see you taking out that my Butterfree. Let's go for another sleep powder on that Arcanine. Nice little fake out come coming in with that Grimstarl. Kind of ruined my plan with my quashing. Or with my fake outs and my quashes. We should have encored him. Extreme Speed's gonna pop out here. Oh my god. Jesus. See you later, Butterfree. We're gonna quash. Quash doesn't do anything now. Dang it. Oh, but we do outspeed. But we do outspeed that Grimstar, which is awesome. He goes with that Extreme Speed. Sleep comes out here on the Arcanine. Hopefully that Grimstar maybe goes for the Sableye. He goes for a Spirit Break. And we eat this berry up. Come on. Eat this up, buddy. I need you to eat it up. Eat it up. You got it. You got it. That a boy, Sableye. That a boy. Eating that up with that berry. And he's gonna drop our special attack, which is fine. The berry weakened the damage. And then, what are we going to do from here? Hmm. 
We could swap out our Sableye. I think we might swap out our Sableye. He's probably going to go for that fairy move. So I, we might as well roll into our Togekiss here. Let's roll into our Togekiss. And we're going to rock out into a Hurricane. Onto that. Did we go on that Arcanine? Hmm. Or we can. We'll just put this Grimstar on sleep. Can we put the Grimstar on sleep? Hmm. I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking we can. All right, let's put this Grimstar on the sleep. And we'll get a free little swap out. Because a Butterfree should outspeed here. Our right, Butterfree should get that outspeed. And we'll be able to get in this Togekiss. And we're going to Dynamax and start boosting the speed of our Pokemon here. Let's go, Butterfree. Let's go, Butterfree. Outspeed here. Let's go, Butterfree. Gets that sleep powder off. Love to see it. You love to see it, dude. Butterfree is an absolute unit. Absolute unit, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. But we got that free little swap out. We're going to Dynamax our Togekiss here. We are going to Dynamax our Togekiss here. And we are going to go into some Max Airstreams. Or do we go into a Max Starfall here? Let's just go into some Max uh, Airstreams here to start boosting our speed of our team. And going after this Arcanine. Let's start doing some damage on this Arcanine here. Go into a nice little Hurricane on the Arcanine. We're just going to start teeing off because that Arcanine is scary. He is a scary Pokemon. I'm not worried about the Grim Snarl. Not at all, considering we can just rock out into a Max Starfall and probably do some work on that Grim Snarl. But we're chilling. I'm surprised that Grim Snarl isn't rocking like Reflect or Late Screen and trying to set up. But he went for the fake out and then he went to try to take out my Sableye. But we were rocking that Roselli Berry, which ate it up for us, which is beautiful. But now we have that Sableye in the back. Got that free swap with that Sleep Powder. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's see. Who goes first? Arcanine is asleep still. We're going to start boosting our speed here, which is huge. Which is huge. Hurricane comes out here. Butterfree outspeeds. Yay. Yeah. Do some nice damage, and we should be able to take out this Arcanine here. Oh, he eats this little berry, but maybe we should still be able to take it out. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, the plus one speed makes us out speed next turn. Let's see. Max Airstream comes out. Yeah. Take him out here. Take him out. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Let's go. Boosting out our speed now. This Grimstar. There's no way this Grimstar is waking up. Watch. He's going to wake up. I just have a feeling now it's going to wake up. Oh my lord, get out my face Get out my face, that's up my light screen dude Get out of here, just get out of here Oh my lord dude Oh my lord I need, I just said it, I was like you know what He's probably gonna wake up now Huh? <sighs> hate this game Hate it a lot Just hate it, I just hate it He's gonna rock out with this Silt Valley We should outspeed, we should outspeed So who are we gonna put to sleep We are gonna put to sleep this Silt Valley And we're gonna rock out into a nice little Max Starfall Try to put this thing away and then go for a nice little sleepy powder here. Sleepy powder comes out on that Silver Valley. We should be able to outspeed. My Butterfree should be the fastest one out on the field. Sleep powder. Compound eyes is too good. We don't miss. We don't miss that sleep powder. Let's get it, guys. Dude. Butterfree. OP, man. Butterfree's an absolute unit. So good. Max Starfall comes out here. Bye bye. Oh, thought we had it. That was a close one. Grim Strong's probably going to take out our Butterfree here. But we get this little. Terrain here. No more sleeps. No more sleeps. Gotta remember that. Missy Terrain puts the little sleeps away. But that's fine. We can rock out onto another Max Airstream and boost the speed of a different Pokemon. Just gonna go for a Spirit Break on my Butterfree. Bye bye, Butterfree. You were wonderful. You did everything I wanted you to do. Perfect. But he still has his Dynamax, and we still have one more turn with our Dynamax. We gotta go into. Let's go into our Sableye here. Let's go into our Sableye here. We have a physical attacker, which so that light stream will not really bother us. And we're just going to go into a nice little max airstream over on this Sil Valley. It is super effective. We can boost our speed. And then we're just going to go for a, a foul play over on that Grimstar. I think it should take it out. That little damage, we're hoping it can take it out. Let's see. My max airstream will pop off here. Give my Sableye a speed boost. And then we should be able to outspeed from there. We should be able to outspeed from there. Let's get it, guys. We're chilling. We're looking good. He has one other Pokemon. This Grimstar is basically dead. He's probably going to die to max it, but we have the speed advantage rolling out here. We have the speed advantage rolling out here. Sableye does go first. Foul play comes out here. Should take him out. Should take him out. A little bit of damage, and we get it. And we get it. You love to see it. You love to see it. We can also go for a Quash in order to get uh, first move priorities here. With, just for our Togekiss. Well, who's his last Pokemon? He is going to Dynamax it, or he's going to call it quits. Or he's going to hit that Bounce Boogie in Skididdle and give us that W. I would love it. Okay, the sort of Flygon pops out here. Dude, we should be able to tee off with the nice little Dazzle Gleam. Oh, shiny, baby. It's a shiny one. A nice, lovely, shiny one. But we get a chance to show off our boy right here. We should outspeed regardless. But do we go for a Quash here? I don't think we go for a Quash. I think we're chilling. And just go for a Foul Play. And just go for a Foul Play. He's not going to outspeed us. Not a chance. Battle was canceled. Let's get it. Not even letting him use his Dynamax. That is how it's done. Sableye, Butterfree, Wombo combo. Wombo combo right there. Third and final match coming at you guys. Come on, dude. 
What else do you want? This Butterfree is rocking out for us. This guy's rocking Draco Fish, Scrappy. I love Scrappy. I love this time. It's rocking Scrappy, Dragapult, Ludicolo, Corvo Knight, and that Clefable right there. I can see him lean that Corvo Knight. I totally see him lean that Corvo Knight. We might want to go into our Butterfree again. Like, Butterfree is just so good. So good. You give me no reason not to lead that Butterfree. I'm trying to see, like, what is the reason not to lead that Butterfree? Mmm, that Corvo Knight. But we can put it to sleep. We should outspeed it. Butterfree, you're coming in with us. Butterfree rocking out in that front spot. Who else is coming here? Tokus. Definitely coming. Tokus is an absolute beast. Do we bring in with that Sableye? Let's go with that Sableye. Let's go in with that Sableye and then probably finish off with that Excadrill or that Titar. This team is very physical attacking. So, Titar, you're coming in here, buddy. Titar, you are coming in here. Butterfree, Togekiss, Sableye, Titar. Let's roll. Let's get it done, guys. Dude, I just love Butterfree. Like, I'm not just gonna not put Butterfree in here. Like, come on, dude. Sleep Paddle with the Compound Eyes. Accuracy goes up times 1.3%. So, that's a pretty big difference. So, say if, like, Thunder. Thunder's a 70% accuracy. If you have Compound Eyes with it, I think it goes up to, like, 91. Like, Jesus, dude. That accuracy is a nice little boost here. He's gonna go into the Dragapult and the Draco Fish. And the Draco Fish here. We're gonna try to put... Who do we try to put the sleepy? Who do we try to put the sleep here? We could roll out right off the bat. We're gonna roll out with the sleep, but who are we gonna put the sleep? I said we put this uh, Draco Fish to sleep. Maybe we should have rolled out into the uh, Sableye. And then I think we're just gonna rock out into a Dazzling Gleam. Hit them both, do some work. Hit them both, do some work. I can see this Dazzling Gleam potentially taking them out. I don't, the reason I'm not Dynamax going for Max Starfall is because I wanna put sleeps on Pokemon. And if you have that uh, sleep in there, Oh, show me the Draco Fish. Show me the Draco Fish. Show it to me. Come on, Draco Fish. Draco Fish. Draco Fish. Come on, baby. Show me Draco Fish. No! <laughs> we should have put the what's it called asleep. The Dragapult asleep. But it's fine. It's fine. But like I said, reason why I didn't want to Dynamax and then go for the Max Starfall is because the what's it called. Oh, Max guys are going to funnel out here. Go on my what's it called. Probably my Tokus, right? My Butterfree. We focus Ash. Can we outspeed this thing? I don't think we're going to outspeed this thing. These Pokemon are fast. He gets a crit, man. He gets a nice lucky crit. But if focus Ash pops off here, it's fine. We will go for Max Starfall if this is an issue. Let's see what he goes for. Can we outspeed this thing, please? No, he goes for Fish's Friend. Oh my. Butterfree. Okay, Butterfree's gone. Psh, get out of my face. We're going to bring in our Stable Eye. Take out that thing. Let's go. That's going pops off. <laughs> Do some work. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go into our Tokus here. Oh, not our Tokus. We already have a Tokus. I say about, but again, for the third time, reason I did not lead my what's it called, or reason I didn't Dynamax go into the Max Starfall is because my Sleep Powder wouldn't work under that Misty Terrain. Okay, now we got it. Okay, so Quash is gonna come out here. We're we gonna Quash. We're gonna Quash this thing. Yeah, we're gonna Quash this thing and go into a Dazzling Gleam. We're gonna Quash the what's it called so the Fish's Friend does not take out one of my Pokemon. So he does not go outspeed my Pokemon. We're chilling, we're chilling. He's gonna withdraw! He's gonna withdraw. Smart play by him. Smart play by him. Withdraw. Go into the Scrafty. The Scraftiddle. Scraftiddle does pop out. Intimidate does pop off on both my Pokemon. It doesn't really affect my Tokus considering we are a special deck. Quash is gonna fail here. Well, it doesn't even affect him. It didn't even matter there. Max Guy's gonna pop out here. Oh, and who's gonna... Smart play would be on my Tokus. Yep, go on my Tokus. Jeez! Wow! Nice damage there. Dude, how's this thing getting back-to-back -back crits? And it's Life Orb. Like, are, like what, what do you mean? Nice damage. See you later. See you later to the, what's it called? To that Scrafty. And I think we're chilling here. I think we are chilling just fine. We have that T-Tar in the back. And we have that Sableye up front. So, again, here comes that thing. Here comes that. Oh, my God. This is such a tough call. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What is our call here? Oh my lord, I don't even know what our call is. We can't we can't go with a fake out, I don't think. Right? It only works the first turn each time the user enters battle. Okay, so we can go for a fake out here. Right? It only works the first turn each time the user enters battle. No, but this isn't the first time that thing enters battle, okay. We gotta go for a foul play. I think he's just going to eat us up here. I think he's going to go get that Fishes Randall. Or we can go for the Quash. 
We can't go for the quash. Let's go for the qu No, we got we got to go here. Oh my lord, this is so tough. This Pokémon is so fast. Max guys are going to pop out here. All my tokens. Take out my tokens. I think we're sitting down the one Pokémon. This like this match was actually fairly close. He's going to get this win in a bag. Jeez, man. I just didn't play this one right at all. It's just this thing. Oh my lord. Can we outspeed? Nope. See you later, Sableye. Oh my lord. We still have our Dynamax, but Sableye is done so. He's done so here. This is so tough here. You guys have no idea. T Tar's coming out here. Wow. Do we even have a chance here? Do we have a chance here? I don't think we have a chance here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have a chance here, guys. I'm trying to think. We can Dynamax, but I don't know if Dynamax would be the right call. I think he's going to eat us up regardless in this rain. I mean, we can try to go for a Rock Slide. Because if we can get off this Rock Slide and potentially one-hit Dynamax the next Pokemon, we could be fine. But I see this thing just outspeeding me like crazy. Oh, my lord. This thing is just watering up. That is the game. That is the game. That's night night. GG, man. GG. That is going to be it, guys. That is going to be it. We went two for one with this team. But Butterfree kind of carries this team. Oh, right, that's fine. That's fine. This match was actually very, very close. He was hanging on by a thread with both those Pokemon. Just one Dazzling Gleam would have probably got us to win or something. It would have got us to win. We didn't even get a chance for a Dynamax, though. Here's one last look at this team, guys. Come on. That Butterfree went off. Went off in those first two matches. We had we struggled a little bit in that last match, but we are chilling. Here's one last look at this team. If you'd like to use it yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite legendary Pokemon? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.